Hey Fractal fans, it's Austin Buddy and I'm going to do a down and dirty video today about how to use the scene controllers that are in both the uh, Live Gold Tone Pack and also now updated the Naked Amps Tone Pack. I've added all the scene controllers and adjusted them so they're pretty much parallel to the Live Gold Tone Pack. Um, there's some confusion about how to turn those on or off if you don't have a foot controller. And I'm going to show you how to do it just through the editor so you understand it. Uh, it's pretty simple once you figure it out, um, but it's hard at first because you're, you're in here in the editor and you pulled up a, this is from um, Live Gold, you pulled up a, an amp block and you see that there are this, these, these little uh, control switches attached, but when you try and move them, you get that. And that's frustrating you, and I understand that, but that is on purpose. That is the way this is set up, but I'm going to show you how to fix it right now. So input boost is off here for this particular preset. And again, this is tied to control switch number two. I just did a right click on my mouse so you can see that that's how you pull it up. So notice that, you know, control switch number six is cut. Fat switch is control switch three. And this is all in the manual. Bright switch is four. Some, on some presets, I have them reversed to turn the bright switch on if that's the way the amp defaults. Um, this particular uh, amp model, the JMP, it's not on. And then that saturation switch is five. So just a quick summary, uh, two, six, three, four, five. And that's all because I did, I added the cut last. Now, let's say you're in scene three and maybe it says, you know, it may say it up here or something like, you know, try CS2. And you're wondering, how do I try CS2? I don't have a foot controller because if you have a foot controller you should install my amp page it's all in the manual go read that and it's all in the tutorial I did that talks about how to install that um, under the FC controllers I'm um, just doing a little side discursion here see I've got it set up so that amp boost fat switch and saturator on and then bass cut and these things so here's how you do it you go to controllers and then you go down these pages and you'll find CS per scene. And lo and behold, you get eight scenes and every controller has a value in that scene for on and off. So let's say you want to turn on in scene three, the amp boost CS2 in scene three only. So now I've changed that from off to on. You see that? Now, if we go out of this to the amp, it won't be on because I have to refresh the scene and the way I do that is I switch to a different scene and then back to the scene and now look it's on and if I click save it will stay on permanently whenever I pull that preset up so that's how you adjust these you can't do it directly from here you go into controllers you figure out what scene you want to change the value for and then you just change that to what you want and it's pretty simple once you get the hang of it um, for all the live goals these are going to be off in almost every preset scene but in the naked amps you're going to go in here and I've got some of them turned on some cuts things like that as we as you go through them just to compensate as I'm trying to dial signs in from the amp so I spent a lot of time setting that up so just know that you may go in to Naked Amps, you might see some of these already in on and off in various ways. So I hope that helps. Um, while I've got you, let's say that you, and notice how that's on, like I said, you've got to get out of it and get it to the scene to refresh, and now it's off. I changed it back. All right, so maybe you don't have an FC controller, but you do have a MIDI controller. Let's say you have a... Um, an RJM Mastermind or some other type of MIDI controller and you want to set up a switch to do amp boost. Here's how you can do that. Okay, go to amp boost, input boost here, right click, and instead of it, go click in this control switch, instead of that being the source, pick an external switch. I tend to like 12 through 16 because the 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 matches up very nicely but with 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So you go to external 12 and I believe that if you go to a MIDI table converts, I think that's to MIDI controller 22. Don't quote me on that. Check your own manual. 
but just set up a switch that's now external 12 on your thing and set it to external or set it to control switch 22 and then you can click the control switch on and off if you don't have an FC 12 or FC 6 um, but you have another foot control you just have to do that unfortunately you got to do it manually for each preset you want to do it for I did set these up for fractal so um, for fractal controllers but that's the way you do it it's not hard to do you could also do it through the pedal off the back if you want to pick one of the pedals and do it that way off a pedal it's up to you it's up to your creativity